As a person, I truly don't believe in second generation entrepreneurship. Okay, what I've seen out of some friends who had to live that, it's personal thing. On the top of that, I engage with conversation with some of my children, which one is there in the back, and they have their own passion. And as a father, I want to be able to, to support their passion. And you know, imagine two seconds, to be able to be there as a guide, as a supporter, being a gardener, the, the seed you had planned in life, and having them achieve their dream and not having to carry on the dream of their father, is so precious. And this is the opportunity that I had been giving them through this transaction. I cannot wish more than anything that they will, because I, I love them all. They're all intelligent. They all being developing passion through their life. This is one goal I gave myself as a father to make sure that they will develop a passion before the age of 10. And trust me, they do. So I'm in full confidence that they will, at a certain moment, pick up on something, and I'll be there to support. Not only financially, but in terms of presence, in terms of guidance, in terms of transfer of knowledge. This is not what it is about in life and in relation to family. I want to live that instead of just throwing them in the jungle, because this is a jungle. It needs a lot, and it's a lot of pressure, and I don't want to give them that I, as a starting point. And none of them yet I'd raise except the little seven years old that want to be a clown. And, wanna, and she already had made her decision. It will not be Sig du Soleil, it will be Sig Bledun. And by then, it might be the competition of Sig du Soleil. I don't know. Merci. We might buy the back that Sig du Soleil. <laughs> <laughs> Ross Maros, can you press? I'm wondering how difficult the day is it for you to take this step. Actually, you know, for the people who knows me, they know that, you know, I, I have many side on me, but this is one, when I engage in something, before I make the decision I'm engaging in it, I process the emotion that I might go through. And at the moment I made that decision, I did process every emotion that goes to it. I prepare myself, check myself out. The last thing I want to do is engaging in things that make people work, and eventually because I, I wake up in the morning, I have second doubt, uh, I make all of this is not serious. You know, I'm a serious business person, I believe in ethics, and at the moment I engage in that, I process. I'm major, I'm 55 years old. Like I said, I gave myself at the starting point 10 years. I went on 31 years. It's more than I could have never imagine. And again, I'm not giving it up. I preserve this family. I still have my parking down there, <laughs> and I will have it. And I'm not ready to give it up yet. It will just be another way of living that relationship. You know. Grandpa will be able to have his room in the house still. <laughs> they don't put him in the elder's house. <laughs> They'll and, take care of me. And what is it that uh, the new partners, new owners could do specifically that you couldn't do on your own? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is, this, this, the network they have is amazing. Two things. They have an amazing network. They have money. They have a full team of people that could reinforce Sir Grote. Uh, they seems to show quite good passion. And they're, they're full of energy. I was starting to spread out. And I would not be, it would not be right for Sir. It would not have been right for myself to not have a look at what I'm doing today. You know, in life, sometimes you could be stubborn or you could look at yourself and the reality of things. That's what I did. Time will tell me if I'm right or wrong for myself or the sick. But in all consciousness and with a rigorous reflection, personal reflection or corporate reflection, I believe today I'm making the best decision for Sikh du Soleil and his future and the best decision for myself and my family. Thank you, sir. Uh, now I, I have to pass on. Yeah, Thank you. Well, because of why? Did you read the paper last week? <laughs> <laughs> you had the answer and all that. You know, without pretension, and I'm, I'm, I'm but you know, there's very few brands here that have the passion of the, of the population. You know, we're, we're, I'm not saying we're even close, but they, you know, you have the Montreal Canadian, you have Cirque du Soleil, you have those Bombardier of this world. Those are emotional 
uh, uh, connection with the population. So there was that reason. And the second one, and I told it earlier, it would have been unintelligent from the new acquirer to put that in question. And by the way, make a distinction between a hedge fund company that comes in, a company that doesn't manage, doesn't own assets, that they want to integrate things together. They are there to believe and support the management and things that have been built by entrepreneurs versus a Disney of this world, versus a Barnum and Bailey of this world. That could have been maybe different. But again, we had kept the door open to very few of those because I knew that that was a danger that may be sick with, 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 with face. And I, by choice, eliminate a lot of those potential situations. And again, to the credit of TPG, before I even finished my sentence as one of the condition, they said, wait a minute, we understand, we know, and this, this, we, we don't have no intention of changing that because we recognize the strength and, 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 and the foundation of, of, of the, the reason why we need to keep the social in Montreal. Just wanna, can I, can I, I just wanna, well, let me add one thing, if you don't mind. I think it's important that you, that you understand that TPG, as anyone who would look into this company even remotely, understands that the DNA of the company is in its Quebec-based creativity. If they were buying a company uh, of uh, an accounting firm, you may think about where it's best to, to house your accountants. There is nowhere else that you can have the creativity that has nurtured all of the shows and all of the revenue that comes from here other than in Montreal, Quebec. So for a company like theirs to come and buy this business with the thought of moving it somewhere else, Guy wouldn't accept to sell to them. They wouldn't be making a very intelligent offer. Danielle wouldn't accept to, to continue to, to run the business and I wouldn't be here. So it's not only a, a, a political statement and a statement of heart, it's a sensible financial and, and reality that we have with the Cirque du Soleil. Just understand, I have all choice. Until Friday morning when I made the decision, I had all the choice. I was holding all the card of the deck. I told you, it was not a fire sale. It was not thing of that case. I made this business decision for the purpose and the support of Cirque. And my belief this is the best thing for Cirque du Soleil. And the partner is believing in Cirque du Soleil and believe in its asset, which is creativity and the foundation that it is here. We have amazing creative people there. And by the way, passionate, ready to engage, and ready to conquer the world again under the Cirque du Soleil banner. It was funny to see the caricature to the, uh, in, in the Journal de Montréal. I love those caricatures. They tell so much. But putting the, 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 the flag of the American, the flag, the Quebec flag will still be there. The Canadian flag will be there. The Sikh flag will be there. It's not the question of changing the flag. We're living on the planet, and that's what I believe. And I've always been a believer in this open world of things. And actually, you know, I told you many years, I'm a believer in a better world, and I believe that new world, or that better world, will come with the abolition of the frontier. So are you asking me if I want to build new walls? On the contrary, we had our specific, you know, I don't know what, sometimes what is this, this thing? We're not a factory. We're not moving things. It's creative things. And our, our recognition of our cultural specificity is, big, is there. There's no doubt about that. Why are we so scared that we will live, lose that identity? It's impossible. This is a DNA. Either sick die, and then it will be lost, but as long as sick will live, it will be part of its DNA, and this is where it's happening. There's no place like that in the world. Are you kidding me? Do you all know how much it will cost to just build a facility like that and move everything? It's crazy. We built that over 31 years, and that's the asset.